Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Recap here with you again, and we're doing something a little bit different today. We're doing a tutorial. I don't know why. Yes, I do. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it because I've had a few comments uh, about my audio. Some people enjoy my audio. That's all I've heard. I haven't heard anything negative, just positive stuff. So I thought maybe you guys would enjoy knowing uh, in a video form how I record or how I edit my audio in uh, Audacity. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get into it. First thing I'll tell you right now, this is a little clip I recorded, just a preview clip, and uh, it's raw right now. I haven't done anything to it, just so we'd have something to work with while we're doing this video. I use Audacity. Audacity is a free program. Tons of YouTubers use it, including me. Uh, I'd say like 80, 90% of people use Audacity. Why would you use anything else when it's free and you can get great audio quality? by using it. So that's what I use, Audacity. I won't walk you through how to get it. Just go to audacity.com. It's free. Download it. You get a sweet little desktop icon. You just click it when you're ready to go. And then you click here. This is the record button, the stop button, the play button, the pause button. I'm not going through all this stuff. I'm no audio pro. I'll tell you right now. I'm just telling you how I do my audio. So if you like the way it sounds, then you can do copy the way I do it and it should come out pretty close. There's a couple of things you might want to play with. We'll talk about in this video, but other than that, it's going to be pretty, pretty good uh, quality sound whenever you record using audacity. So that's what I use free program audacity.com. Download the free software. You're good to go. Uh, I do use a blue Met Yeti microphone. I'll tell you that right now. You, uh, about 150 bucks. I think on Amazon, you can use the blue snowball. A lot of people get started with that. Um, you can go higher quality. You can get some really fancy, high tech, crazy setup where there's nine microphones pointed at you. And I don't know. You can get guys behind glass that tell you when it's time to cut a, a director. <laughs> I don't. I don't use all that stuff. I'm just saying. I use a, a Blue Yeti microphone. 150 bucks on Amazon, right around there, US. That is. So I mean, if you want to use one of these uh, to get the same quality, you can pick that up on Amazon. And the free program Audacity is what we're working with. Um, Again, I'm not a pro, so I'm not going to go through all this stuff up here because I don't mess with any of this stuff. I'll tell you right now, I don't even know what half this stuff does. Um, I'll just tell you how I do it. The way I learned how to do my recording is uh, I watched a ton of videos on how other people do it, uh, their recommendations, and then I also uh, a lot of trial and error. So those things combined are how I figured out what works best for me. So that's what I'm telling you in this video again is how I do it. So this is the raw clip we have here. The only thing I will say is down here in the bottom left-hand corner, this project rate, uh, you can change this to all kinds of different stuff. I leave it at 44,100. That just seems to, to come out the best for my voice, my, my, uh, my audio recording. So that's the way, that's where I leave it. I leave that alone. I don't mess with a lot of this stuff up here. Um, when you when you click the drop down here, you just select whichever microphone you want to use. And I can't click it because I've got this thing paused here. It's already in the middle of recording something. But this is the Blue Yeti is what I'm recording on now and what I recorded this on. So that's what I'm going to show you. So we have the raw clip right here. So step one, you record. And then when you're done, you hit stop. First thing, very important. You have to remove any background noise from your video or from your audio recording. So you always want to leave some dead space before you start talking. Once you hit record, usually three, four five seconds. I usually go five and then I dive into my commentary or, or my speaking, whatever I'm going to say. So you have all this dead space here. First rule. That's, this is why, cause you're removing the background noise. So you want to just click here, you know, at four or five seconds, don't go too close to where your recording starts. Cause occasionally I'll make a noise right here before I hit it. And that'll make it sound kind of funky. So I usually go back about eh, a second or two to right here. I right click on this and then I just drag it all the way back over to the front. All this here is now noise, background noise. You go up to the top here in your bar where it's got all your all your funky little words to tell you what's going on. Thank you very much. I want to do an effect. Click an effect. This big drop down menu will pop out. And after you click effect, you come all the way down to noise reduction. Click noise reduction. You get this this uh, glorious little box right here. Don't touch anything. Just click get noise profile. Click. Got it. Thank you, Audacity. Appreciate that. Now you can highlight this whole thing, the whole track, if you want to now, or you can just click over here. This is what I do. I just hit that right click that this little empty box here in this area and boom, it's all highlighted back to effect. Step two into noise reduction. Don't touch anything. Leave it all alone. And a lot of people will change all this stuff in here or, or you know, make it whatever they want it to be. Uh, but I don't mess with any of that stuff. Personally, I just leave all of this stuff alone in here and you just click. Okay. Step two. Now your background noise has been removed. So you're good to go. That's it. Step two, complete step three, leave it highlighted back to effect. 
iClick compressor. You get this great little box right here. Again, people will tell you minus 16 decibels, minus 18 decibels. They'll move noise, floor, ratio. Don't mess with any of that stuff. Just leave it all alone. That's This is what I do. I click OK. Boom! It's gone ballistic. That's all right. We're going to fix all that. And it's actually going to look kind of like that when it's done, but it's going to sound good. So that's step three. Step three? Yeah, step three. Okay, so we've done noise, got noise profile. We've removed the background noise. Now we've hit the uh, compressor button. Next step, back to effect. We're working in effect the whole time here. Here to equalization, you get this big box right here. Now this is where you might want to play with it just a little bit. Some people's voices are higher, some people's voices are lower. Um, mine is actually fairly deep, um, just because I've hit puberty, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, just, just the way my voice is, it's actually fairly high. So, or fairly low, excuse me. So I don't go too much on the bass side. First thing I do is right here where it says select curve. I drop down menu, treble boost. Puts me here at nine decibels. This is here where it peaks out at nine decibels. I leave this alone. I just click OK. It's done a little bit more uh, jumping around here on the bar, but that's fine. Back into effect. Back to equalization. Now, I do a little bit of bass boost just to kind of... Uh, even it out a little bit down here at the drop down, drop it down, bass boost. I'm going to grab right here at this little white dot. I'm just going to drag it down and I drag mine down to just under three. That's where mine sounds best. Again, I'm not messing with anything else in here. Just dragging that down a little bit. You can do presets. You can play with this a little bit. <coughs> excuse me. If you want to go a little higher, if your voice is a little lower, or excuse me, a little higher, you go a little, uh, you go up a little bit with your with your bass boost. If it's a little uh, lower, like mine is, you can go higher with your treble. You can go down. You just have to experiment a little bit. These are just the way I do it. Don't mess with anything. Drag it down to just under three. I click OK. Boom. Got it. Now, back to effect one more time. I'm going to come all the way down to normalize. You can watch the little uh, squiggly lines up here do their dance. They move just barely. I'm sorry. Actually, I got to show you this here. Don't mess with anything here either. Again, these two checked this at minus one and people will give you all kinds of advice on how they do it. That's fine. This is just the way I do it. I don't touch a thing. Click OK. Shrunk it down. Boom. I'm like, I'm like a shrunken sound here. It's all good, though. We're going to fix it here. Last step. Back to effect. Compressor one more time. Don't touch anything. Boom. Spread it back out a little bit. And that just kind of balances everything out so it sounds good. Now let's take a listen to the final product. Yo, what's up guys? Recap back with you today and we're doing some test audio for an Audacity settings tutorial. Yo, what's up guys? Recap back with you today and we're doing some test audio for an Audacity settings tutorial. So there you can see the final product. That's what you get once you, once you get through it all. Boom, there it is. That's the way it sounds. That's the steps I go through and that's it. That's all I do. Once you're done, you just click file and you click export audio and this will send it to wherever you want it to go. Desktop, um, you know, into a file, whatever. I just usually send mine to the desktop because I'm working on that particular project uh, next. So I just keep it all together on my desktop and you're good to go. That's it. That's it. We're done. Then you just sync it up in your video and you're golden. Once you go into edit, it's ready to go. It's all ready to, to sound spectacular. <laughs> if you like the way my voice sounds on the videos, that's, that's what you're going to get. That's the settings I go through. Feel free to go back and pause any parts of this you might want to focus on, re-listen to it. It's, it's completely up to you. This is just the way that I do my audio. So again, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please drop a like. I appreciate that. If you do, uh, comment, if you've got, let me know what's, what kind of, uh, audio recording software you use or what kind of microphone you use. Let me know if this helped you. If you want to see more of these tutorials in the future, uh, just thought this might be something I could cover kind of in one video since I've gotten several questions about my audio and let you know how I do it. That's how I do it right there. So, uh, again, drop a like, comment, subscribe for more. Uh, you'll see some Black Ops, some Call of Duties, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2. I do all kinds of stuff. I play older cause, modern warfare. So we're going to get into infinite warfare when that comes out. But if you want to uh, see more videos like this, please let me know. So that's going to do it for this one. Again, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Deuces.